I was sitting here on a Sunday night and I tell you what, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go into this quick time crap on the Mac. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try and sound a bit like Sam Newman. Going to try and get all the tones and the absolute annoyance at every single little thing that this stupid, ridiculous Victorian government has tried to do. My Godfather. I have not been able to golf for six weeks. I tell you what, my my golf clubs have more cobwebs than a than the Premiership Cabinet at St Kilda Football Club. Let me tell you, I've been sitting here absolutely bored to bits. And what's worse, last night I went outside to do a bit of a shop. I had a, a valid reason for going outside. I was pulled over by these young fascist officers, fair dinkum. They were the most left-leaning officers. They pulled me up and they said, what are you doing outside, sir? And I said, well, I'm actually going to the shop, which as far as I'm concerned is absolutely, absolutely a God-given right. They pulled out this tiny little notebook. They wrote me a fine. They handed me this fine. I tell you what, there was no social distancing there. Let me tell you, they handed me this fine, not sanitized, not anything. I tell you what, I looked at the number, $400 just for walking down my own street. And there's Daniel Andrews hooping it up with the with all his mates up there. I tell you, we fair income. We need a Donald Trump in this country because if I don't get golf into me by another month, I think I'm going to go absolutely stir crazy. Fair dinkum. What's happened to this country? And I, I'm sure Caroline Caroline's going to be writing an article about me. But truly, I just, my godfather, it's just enough is enough. I, I, I can't go golfing. I can't go on my fishing boat. And the worst thing of all, the worst bloody thing that just absolutely annoys the shit out of me. Last night at about 9.30, a group of bloody teenagers, teenagers, skinny little hoodlums came past on their skateboards, running up and down right next to where I live. I stuck my head out and I said, I thought you were supposed to be social distancing. They did not give a damn. They said, shut up, you old bastard. So I told them, I said, if you don't get away from my door with this skateboard, I'm going to throw boiling water over you. And fed, I had a knock at the door. This little crying male with his father, he's saying, oh, how could you threaten to throw water over a 15-year-old child? Oh, God. Truly, I, I wish I could go and live in somewhere like North Korea or something, because I tell you, I reckon their citizens would have even more rights than here.